holandski kuvar Rudolf van Pein konačno je došao u Beograd. U njegovom kulinarskom umeću imamo prilike da uživamo gledajući 24 Kitchen, a danas ćemo saznati i nešto više o njemu. Hello? That sounded great, that sounded great! Your father was a sailor and nobody in your family was not in cooking business. So how come that you became a chef? That's a good question. Well, my father was very adventurous and he always told me when I was just a little boy to try everything and never ever by looking at people uh, judge anybody, uh, um, uh, be interested and be open to any other culture and uh, learn because the first day you might think um, uh, you don't like the people so much or the place so much but if you're there a few days give it a chance and then you'll find out that the world is actually magic and and I was just this little boy and my father when we watched films on television he always had big stories to tell about um, where where he has been and and so uh, I was first interested in the in the uh, traveling around the world and after this uh, cooking became a very easy way to get to know people and uh, because what you put in your mouth it, it becomes part of you as a baby you are four kilos <laughs> and as a grown-up you're maybe seven, 60 or 70 kilos and it's all thanks to, to food uh, and that combined with the adventure story of my father uh, made me decide I wanted to be a chef and I was early I knew this already when I was 11 years old but your daughter Doris is teenager she is yes and uh, is she eating fast food and uh, are you allowing her to do so? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. I'll be very honest with you. Uh, I don't want to be uh, a father who is too picky. I think uh, every individual needs some guidance, but then uh, make your own plans. Uh, she grew up knowing that it is impossible to go to a cafeteria or to a hamburger restaurant which is fast food together with me because that's not my cup of tea but, uh, as the English would say uh, and she just had to accept that this is the way her father is so I never joined her and I think that's enough as a message to her and to her friends uh, what I think about going to this fast food place is too much uh, but of course if she is on her own or with friends and she wants to go, let her go. I give her um, enough examples of how you can make it fresh. Like if she is uh, staying over with friends and she wants to have pizza, I just p pick a cookbook and uh, make sure all the ingredients or the money for the ingredients is there and say, Doris, you can make whatever you like, pizzas, no matter what, make them fresh. And then you can do everything. Who is cooking in your house? You know, uh, what I eat in the, in the evening it's, it's never an issue to me because, and this is a question that's asked uh, uh, many times, because there's always food around wherever I am and wherever I work. So uh, almost all the times I have my meals during or after cooking because we don't want to throw anything away. And uh, uh, so I'm very um, mobile in, in, in where I am, what I do. So I don't have a, a, a typical, uh, a very typical family life, as a lot of people know this, uh, because of the, of the hours and of the fact that uh, whenever I cook, people say, join us with, with, with having dinner or lunch. Uh, so I do. Yes, but I thought uh, in your house, because your wife is now, your, your girlfriend is now pregnant. Mm -hmm. And uh, pregnant women are spoiled often. Of course. <laughs> she asked you to make something special for her. Uh, she can cook very good herself, luckily. And, uh, uh, but the, the nice thing about this is that uh, she, uh, for the last weeks, loves sweets much more than she used to. So I'm having a lot of fun with that <laughs> because I like to see people eating cakes and, uh, and, and pastries. Yeah. Once you said that you go to Las Vegas every year because yes. uh, this is the culinary paradise or something like that. Yeah. Is that true? It is. It is still the city with the most hotel beds. Everybody who's there comes there to be entertained, either in gambling, but all the people that come there for gambling need to eat and to sleep. 
So it's the biggest amount of restaurant concepts and chefs and celebrity chefs that any chef who is uh, uh, recognized in, in the United States will be actually bought to Las Vegas to open a shop. A good example is uh, Joël Rebouchon from France. When he stopped having his three Michelin star restaurant because he was tired of the, of the focus of having the best restaurant in the world, only six months later, the MGM Grant in Las Vegas bought him over to open a very unique mansion. Which habits of yours do you consider the healthiest? <laughs> uh, don't go to cafeterias. When I'm in a supermarket, I never walk to the corridor where there's the, uh, the pom chips. And, and the, the, I don't eat sweets that are uh, artificially colored, like the blue there on the, on the, on the beautiful cupcakes. I don't eat uh, uh, any food color, which is not saffron or cocoa powder or, or, or turmeric or beet juice. Uh, I don't even touch it. If people ask me, could you, could you pass me this? When there's food coloring, I don't touch it. That's to give a signal, because food never ever should be uh, 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 too much colored. Because it should be how it is, that's good enough. Uh, you, can, you can color your hair, you can color your clothes, but not the food, please. And uh, um, I think somehow, uh, that's, and, and I don't eat too much and not too late. Uh, not just, in many Mediterranean countries, people eat dinner uh, very late and then they go to bed and they, it don't, doesn't digest. So, uh, actually the best thing to do is have a, have a good lunch. Uh, but that doesn't always work with the work. <laughs> what do you do when you want to, to relax? Ah, so many things. L like, like now, listen to music, go to friends. But, uh, uh, friends, um, I'd love to shop. <laughs> I really do. Um, um, I'm not interested in any technical things, so phones or, or, or anything that has a plug or, or buttons, I'm not interested, even computer. I, I know what to do, but it's the minimum. With a phone I, o I only call. I don't want any apps myself because I don't know what to do with it. And that keeps my life clean and, 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 and uh, uh, focused. Um, cooking is not only a way of working, but it, is, it really gives a lot of pleasure. Um, and, and therefore, uh, to cook is also uh, very relaxing for me. And making cakes and pastries and see people enjoy it. It never feels like work, never. In a kitchen full of flavors, it is good to be alive. Look, uh, juggling with my pots and ladles. Look at me, I dance and jive. You know, that's, that's just how, uh, yeah, how I feel. And for the end, your, your life motto? Well, I, uh, in Dutch I said that leven is a gebakje, so life is a petty four, or like a, 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 a little cupcake. And you know what, I learned that from my parents who died much too soon. And uh, sometimes I can really look forward to having a coffee and a small pastry, even when I bought it at a good baker shop or, or, or a friend made it. I can really look forward, oh, at the end of my day, I'm going to have this small pastry. And you know what? It's two bites and it's, bites and it's gone. But like life, it's about the intensity of, of, uh, of doing that. So life is a pastry cup. Thank you. Thank you.